Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial on Vue.js. So you can refer to this GitHub uh, link that is github.com slash pro software development learn view. You will get all the codes related to this series video series on this repository. The title of this video is working with the view component and we will learn how to bind ID data and methods inside a view component. So let's get started with today's tutorial. Before I start, I'll give you a quick reminder how Vue.js works. So basically Vue.js has a, uh, has a component component uh, which is a view component. Okay, I'll say a Vue.js has a view component uh, which refers to the ID of the HTML HTML page to render it. Uh, why we refer to ID? Because its ID is a unique thing. So we don't have any conflict that which view comp we don't have an ambiguity to avoid the ambiguity we have an ID that is unique for the HTML element so it helps the view component to uh, re render on the HTML part using an ID so that's pretty simple now what you can do you will create a new HTML page that index2.html in the previous tutorial I had created index1.html and you can uh, add the Vue.js script uh, inside your it uh, inside your body tag but make sure that it should be at the end of the body tag not before it so this makes like it will perfectly render everything so the title is learn view 2 and we will give a uh, create a view component constant view component 2 okay I'll say constant view component is equal to new view it will call the view constructor and the view constructor has a json object perfectly fine so now you can see it has a json object now i'll what i'll do i'll press enter it has three things that are element uh, which will have the id and then it will have a data which will be in in itself a json object and then it will have methods uh, methods will be also a json object so if you uh, remember all those three all these three things to put you are perfectly fine with the uh, your view component so inside this i'll put a counter is equal to zero and inside this i'll call the method uh, i'll call it increment counter okay and what i'll do uh, i'll call the met uh, method increment counter and assuming just for assuming the case that forget this as a view component uh, treat it as a, a, a treat this as a class so if this is a class if this is a class so what you can uh, uh, that if this is a class and if you want to access the data of this class you can you uh, access this via this pointer so this dot counter plus plus so every time i click on it i'll increase the counter so to show this on the front end what i'll do i'll make a div div id is equal to my app 2 and then i'll close this div perfectly fine and what I'll do, I'll uh, I'll create a counter variable using the handles, and I'll give this as a h1 tag. So I hope this is fine. Now what I'll do, uh, I'll what I'll do now, what I'll do, uh, I have to refer this element to this ID that is hash my app two. Now I'll go to the page. And I'll refresh this. It says zero as a counter. Perfectly fine. But uh, what does does something happen on the click? Nothing happens because for this I have to define a a click function, which can be defined using add the rate click is equal to increment counter. So when I click on this, uh, it will increment the count. I'll refresh this page and when i click this here you can see the count gets increased one by one by one 
so this is how you increment the counter uh, by this function that is at the click at the rate click function you can achieve the same using v on click functionality as well okay now i'll show you a small example uh, let me add another thing that is text is equal to hello world that is hello world and what you can do also you can add a flag is equal to false or you can click on flag is equal to true so what you can do you can call a method hide hide method and you what you can do a hide method can will change this flag okay this if with the if condition here it will change that if this dot flag is equal is equal to true then this dot flag is equal to false now this would change our flag if this dot flag is equal to is equal to true then this dot flag is equal to false and how do you want to click that you can change this to okay first i'll show you one thing i'll change this to text okay perfectly fine now what i'll do i'll comment this out so the this code remains as well and okay actually there is no need to comment so uh, let me remain this as, as it is so when i refresh this page uh, okay this is the previous code working so as soon as i click the counter gets incre incremented so this is the previous code working when i refresh this page the new co code gets added its place so we get a text hello world but what i want to do i want to hide this on click so what i'll do i click hide method if, if this dot flag is equal to is equal to true then this dot flag is equal to false and what i'll do here that at the on at the rate click function i will call hide method perfectly fine but i'll put another condition that v if is equal to flag if this is true then i show this heading else i'll hide else if this is true then i show okay if it's false then i don't show and when this will turn to change turn to false when i click the hide method okay let me refresh this page i click here you go it's it's been hidden and how you can get back to this uh, you can right click here and click on inspect so this would open the chrome inspector tools and inside this what you can do you can refer to this view component what you will do view uh, okay uh, you can refer this view component to dollar data dot flag which will return your the existing value okay so what you can do just a second sorry i'll click on console view component to dollar data dollar flag which is false and i'll change this to true and i'll get the value back when i change this to false it gets hidden again so the true false toggling value was done by this hide method functionality okay so thank you everyone for watching this tutorial thank you